Listen, this is where uh, if you don't listen uh, to me, you go to jail. Uh -huh. My name's Jared. What's your name? Marty. Marty? Marty. What's your last name? Marty. Can I have a witness? No. Please. Please. Stop. I'm peeing. Yeah. I'm peeing. I'm peeing. I'm really sorry. You don't, you don't have to go to jail tonight, okay? But I need you to, I need you to be honest. I'm being honest. Okay. Walmart sells almost everything a person needs, from food and drinks to electronics and toys. Everyone loves their one-stop shop. However, with so many people making their way through the store daily, weird things are bound to happen. From two women who shoplift two days in a row to a female stoner peeing herself when she didn't get what she wanted. So if that piqued your interest, you better stick around because you're about to see a few Walmart troublemakers who thought they could outsmart the cops. On the 25th of February, 2022, Walmart employees saw a woman who they previously trespassed for stealing. They called the authorities, and officers arrived on the scene. But when the officers and the Walmart employees tried to stop her, she got into a car with her accomplice and drove away. Hey! Please! Stop! You better stop. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. They're going out towards 4th Street. And they get the Chevrolet. Impala. It's going to be a Chevy Impala. It's like a black female driver. The uh, subject yeah. evaded and resisted. The female has a bonnet that's um, a leopard tree. The workers tell the officer what the suspect stole and that they have footage of the incident. The employees were able to recover all the stolen items and the thieves didn't get away with anything. It turns out they tried to steal over $100 worth of stuff. Meanwhile, another officer finds their car and pulls them over. Hello. Can we roll the back window down for me? All right. Okay. Yes, I just came from Walmart. Yes, ma'am, you sure did. Here. They just tried to attack me, so I took off running. You had an officer. Yes, ma'am, he just tried to attack me when I came yes, out here. I took off and he scratched me. He's going to be at 1507 Miami. Okay. Three or four Res resisting an officer and evading the scene is not how you solve that problem, right? Well, I was scared. Like, I had six people on me. They're I doing They're doing um, a shoplifting scene. So I went in there to go get a headlight. I have my Toxavox, I have a speaker, and I have a pair of boxes that belongs to my brother that is in that bag. Okay. That was already in the bag when I went to Walmart. All right. Do you have your license with you or an ID of some sort? No, ma'am. This I'm, I was going around the corner to go talk to my mom, but I live in the corner. Okay. What's your name? I'm on probation. That's why I ran. I got scared. Because I did. I Before I went to jail and got on probation, I got in trouble for shopping. Okay. At that Walmart, and I was told not to go back, but that's the only Walmart that had my license. I mean, my... The officer tells the woman that she made a few bad decisions, and she tells the officer that she was scared and not evading arrest. Now, when you run from an officer, even if you're scared, it still counts as evading. It also doesn't help that the suspect is on probation. She should have just followed the officer's instructions, and all of this could have been cleared up much faster. Okay, okay. I'm on probation. And you said you're on probation for shoplifting? No, ma'am, I'm on probation for a DWI. DWI? What's your birthday, Miss Washington? All right, hang tight. I'll be right back. Red hoodie in the back seat. Ten four is Miss Victoria is going to be our suspect. Ten four. She's wearing all red. She's taken off her hoodie and placed it in the back. She completely admitted to everything. Says she got scared, and that's why she ran off. Ten four. She's going to be charged with this. Uh, evading. So I just left the registered owner's house because I drove by, I was headed to Ethel, and they, they saw, they tried to duck, duck me a little bit, obviously. Yeah. The officers talk about the two suspects who tried to evade them. She tells her partner that both of them are being arrested for evading. She makes her way to the car, but before she could even get to the passenger side, Victoria hopped out of the car, asking if the driver could take the car to her sister's house. Can she, uh, drop my car for my sister? Take my car. No, no. Is she going to? She's going to. She didn't have anything to yes, do with it. Yes, ma'am, because you, when the officer. I'm going to do it. Again. I swear to God, y'all, it was all me. Let's, let's, let's just take this. It was all me, y'all, I swear. Can she call her mom? Yeah, once we get in the car. I and I made her drive. She didn't even know what I was going to do. 
Do you have anything on you? Some Pope sticker print? No. She didn't know. She didn't know. She didn't. She didn't know, y'all. I swear. You wake up, please, on my I'm gonna take your ladder out and sleep in the door, okay? No, I don't want to do that. I have to make him pick my car up. I live right down the street. Can We're gonna get in this one right here. This is it's my best friend's car, and I have her number in my phone. So she didn't know what I was doing, so I just had her drive. I just had her drive me. The two suspects are placed in the back of the police cars, and the officers search the car to make sure there's no stolen property in the car. Over the radio, the first officer narrates the story of how he chased the female suspect to the car and grabbed her before the car drove off, almost taking him along with them. Okay, um, I didn't know because I have like a JBL speaker in here that's like practically brand new, navy blue, brand new cord, and so I didn't know if that was... That's going. Uh, okay. I'm going to do the PC and supplement my report. Okay. She, she right. admitted to it? Yeah, she admitted to it. I got it on BWC. What did the driver have to say? Uh, she said she didn't know what was going on. She was scared. All this other stuff. I got some Walmart Wrangler pants in the bag in here. Yeah, uh, they, they saw her conceal certain things. And it's going to be over it. Over okay. The two suspects were arrested and taken to jail. Victoria, the passenger, was charged with resisting arrest and theft between $100 and $750. Her partner in crime was charged with evading arrest detention. And it just goes to show you, you should never run from the cops, even if your friend tells you to. On the 1st of September, 2022, an officer was sent to a Walmart where a man refused to leave after he was told to get out by employees. When the officer made contact with the man, he turned around and walked the other way and grabbed an item. He then tried to leave with the officer, but there's one problem. They haven't been paid for a uh, She, she was paid for right Nah, they don't, they don't want you to, they're not gonna let you buy them. Why is that? They don't want you to buy them. I'll just skin them. Like I'm supposed to get them by right. I got them. Put them down. It's all right. You can't buy them. You're all right. They're not gonna let you buy I'm them. taking it. Listen, this is where uh -huh. if you don't listen uh -huh. to me, you go to jail. Uh -huh. So put them down. I'm taking it. Listen. Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. You don't have any. Hey. The officers pin the man to the ground to make sure he doesn't do something that he shouldn't. Another officer joins the scene as backup. The officer on the ground asks our suspect if he's gonna roll over, but the man refuses, so the officer just keeps on lying on top of him. That was until the man started resisting and tried to escape. Stop! Stop! You can roll over? I'm not trying to choke you, but if you're gonna act like that, I'm gonna do whatever I need to do. Stop! Maybe just relate. Because it's, listen, it ain't got to be this way. Yeah, just, just calm down for it. It's okay. Because I don't want to have to tase you. It's okay. Yeah, y'all just get here as fast as you can. Open your hands, open your hands and relax. Relax. You okay? Why you got to do all this? It ain't, it ain't worth this thing. As you can clearly see, something is not right with this man. He makes weird noises and tries to get out of the officer's hole. The man keeps on grunting and tries to grab the officer. When the officer finally pins both of his hands, they decide it's time to put him in cuffs. Stay put. Hey, if, hey, you, if you don't give up, you're gonna be tased. You're gonna get tased. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. You can say my name. 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 Say I'm not familiar with him. I don't know you. You tell me. The officers lifted him up and escorted him through the store. Now the man keeps on asking the officers to say his name. But how are they supposed to do that if he doesn't give it to them? The officer takes him to the front of the store and walks him to the back of a cop car. They ask him if he needs EMS, but he just keeps grunting and panting. He's searching real good. Yeah. You got anything on the Yeah, do, do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. 
Powerful Woodson. Very powerful. Okay. Um, ready? Yeah. Let me make sure this Are is clear. Hold on. Let me make sure this is clear. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Is it? No. I think it is. No. Huh? It is the same dude. Uh, I was on the way, but I never made it to that. I was, who's, I was on his left. Whose handcuffs are on there? Yeah. Mine. Okay. Well, Wait, no, hold them right there. We're not swapping. Right, no. We good? Okay. No. Uh, right. Well, I can right. do it above. But... No, no, no worry about it. Okay. Right. Come on. All right. Yeah. What you got, man, before we get him in? We must admit, we're pretty surprised he didn't do anything crazy. The officers talk for a bit, and as it turns out, he has made a few problems in the area before. The officer who arrested him told his colleagues that the suspect didn't have any money on him, so he must have intended to steal the items he had in the store. The officer then asked for the suspect's name again, and let's just say he let the demon out. You can't guess every name in the book. Here's how it's going to go, my man. Say my okay, name. hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, listen to me, not, listen to me. Uh, you're under arrest right now, you understand that? Okay? So you're going to go down to the jail. Now, here's the issue. If you don't tell us who you are, that jail is not going to release you, okay? So you are going to have to sit behind a behind a bar in a cell until you tell us who you are. So why don't you just tell us your name now? And we can work all this out, all right? Okay? So, what's your name, boss? Yeah. My name's Jared. What's your name? Marty. Marty? Marty. What's your last name? Marty. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. What's your uh, date of birth, bud? Mighty. I, I, you seem mighty. I, I, I see that. What's your date of birth? Okay. Then I have to ask him when he comes. Okay. Well, I want to talk to you. I'm mighty. I, I get that, but I'm not asking that right now. I'm asking you, when were you born? Don't worry about that. I do. I am worried. <sighs> After shaking his mouth like that, I would have done the same thing the officer did and slam the door in his face. The officers drive our suspect to the jail and they finally get an ID on it. Our demon from the West here is named, drum roll please, Stanley. It don't matter. Either way, they gonna come to my aid. All right, we're not gonna do that. Listen, if you got anything on your, on your, in your possession that shouldn't go in that jail, like drugs, anything else, it'll be an extra charge, all right? How they got you in here, dog? Oh. Well, well, you shouldn't do things yeah, yeah, yeah. that cause the police to drop you to the floor. Oh, you dropped me. Yes. Oh, you tripping. Come on, man. Why you Because. We're not taking this I'll bad. Don't fall. We're not taking this Don't feel bad for me, man. I mean, uh, you know, things happen. I chose to be a police officer, you know. How old are you, Stanley? Too cold, man. Huh? Come on. To this door we go. How old are you? I'm 33. Stanley is taken in, and luckily for the officer, Mr. Mighty has gone on vacation. Stanley and his demons were all charged with resisting arrest with violence and criminal trespass. Now, if you thought Stanley the Demon Man was an interesting case, just wait until you see our next suspect in... On the 11th of April, 2021, New Haven police arrested 50-year-old Robert Banks at a Walmart. Officer Christian Carafa was sent to the scene and saw footage of the suspect stealing clothes worth $104 in total. Banks was seen leaving the store, and the officer quickly caught up with him. Come here, dude! Going all the way towards the front again. Towards the entrance exit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're up to stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get out of the car. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get out of the car. I only got t-shirts. I only got t-shirts. I only saw t-shirts. I only saw t-shirts. Shut up. Give me the keys. I only saw t-shirts. I only saw t-shirts. I only saw t-shirts. What do you got there, bro? Nothing. What do you got there? I got teasers. I got teasers. I got teasers. Down on the ground. I got down on the. Down on the ground. I got teasers. Down on the ground. I got teasers. Down on the ground. I got teasers. Down on the ground. I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave behind. Get your hands on your. I got teasers. Down on the ground. Put your hand on the. Down. Look, look, officer. I got. 
over. Turn over. Turn over. Turn over. Another officer arrives on the scene and they search the suspect after he's placed in cuffs. The two officers find more than just a few t-shirts. It turns out Robert stole some socks and underwear as well. Must have been brand names because he racked up a total of $104. I ain't know you. You can have the light, that's about it. Sir. Just for a second. Right. Is, uh, is she with them? Yeah. yeah. Can I see your ID then? So I know we'll give them the keys too. Yes, sir. If there is an issue, I f I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Where's this? Sit down. This is a jacket. Oh, my God. This is a jacket. Just go sit down. Can I just take the jacket off? Take the jacket off. Oh, my God. I'm just going to take a nice picture of the ID. I'll give it to you right away. Oh All right. All right. Let's oh, fuck. Okay. I need you to listen to me. Okay. Okay. Hey, how are you? Okay. I'm gonna get. Is that? Unfortunately, you can't take the car, though. Okay. Okay, that's no problem. All right. Because your license, he says, it's just on the driver's identification card. All right. Are you all right? You good? The officers take Robert to the back of the cop car and search his vehicle. Luckily, the officer grabbed him before he could hide any of the stolen clothes. However, that's not the officer's main concern. He asked Robert if he has a gun in his car. Miss, I just had to make sure he didn't want to put a gun away or something, right? Because he said, hey, hey, no, come on. I'm just making sure, I said, because you were reaching your pants. Just for a second, I'm only checking the driver's side. You got ID on you, man? All right, yes, sir. Where is it? I'm sorry. Don't grab for it. Just tell us where it is. I'm sorry. Did you take the jacket, too? Yes, that's the jacket. That's the jacket. I'm sorry. This is my jacket. No, stand up. We're not sorry. I'm 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 sorry. Uh, yeah, he just he he ran into it and then uh, before he can lock the door, I'm, you are. I locked it. You ever been arrested before? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is she dropping anything else? No, 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 sir. This is I just took an outfit. I just took an outfit to wear. No. <laughs> The officers ask Robert for his address and get a few of his details. He knows he messed up and keeps on apologizing to the officers. And the officer tries to explain to him why he pulled his gun on him. So, do you think the cop did the right thing? I got nervous. So you can't start reaching in your hands and your pockets like that. That's why I drew my gun out on you. Because if you pull a gun on me, I'm not. I'm not going. All right. I'm not gonna. I'm going home at night. Oh, is he talking? Oh, yeah. You start reaching in your pockets like that. Oh no, I'm sorry. So you know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Was your were you live? Yeah, I was live the whole time. All right. Listen. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. So just put your feet in the car. Um. You're gonna do all four or twenty nine. All right, you gotta put your feet in the car. Right. Yeah, you're using force. I have to. It's a use. Sir, you don't know. You don't know our policies, all right? You're not gonna lock me up, Marty. Huh? You're not gonna lock me up, Marty. Yeah, unfortunately, have to. You get a VCA, sir. You get why? When you go down there, they'll most likely give you a VCA. Why can't you get something, sir? Come on, sir. Sir, because I pulled my gun out. You didn't. No, that that wasn't nothing. I have it on my camera, though. Can you please? I understand you don't think it's nothing. I ain't charging nothing. Unfortunately, we have to do it the way we do it. Sir, can you please give me a a summons, man? So, so I need you to understand something. Okay. Come on, sir. The officer explains to Robert that if he stopped when he told him to stop, they could have handed him his summons and sent him on his way. However, since the officer pulled out his gun, this incident is much worse, and now he has to be taken down to jail. This is the procedure that the officers have to follow when an incident like this takes place, so Robert's going to have to roll with it. But because of everything else that escalated, because of you trying to escape and the actions that you took, you have to be processed. Well, I never see. Would I never you, see him. Would, would, would you please continue listening to me? Please don't be rude to me. Uh, I'm not being rude to you. Okay, I'm not okay, yelling okay, at okay, you. Sorry. Okay. When you get down to detention, they are going to take your picture, fingerprint you, and if you don't have any warrants, they are most likely going to give you a summons right on the spot. But you are going to be going to detention, whether you want to or not. Okay. 
It's going to take a couple hours out of your life, but you know what? That's a consequence of your actions. Well, Robert, now it's time to face the consequences of your actions. The officers take him down to the jailhouse. Robert admitted that he was under the influence of drugs because he was grieving a friend's death. He spent a few hours in detention before he was released on a $2,500 bond. He was charged with larceny in the sixth degree and interfering with an officer. On the 10th of February, 2023, in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, 39-year-old Rochelle Trevino made a scene at the Walmart on Washington Avenue. She ignored the closing time on Thursday and was in the store for over three hours. She refused to leave the bathroom, so the Mount Pleasant police were called to the scene and arrived at 11.16 p.m. Why have you been in the bathroom so long? Getting hang on. ready. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What Just hang on. Do you have your ID with you? Oh, yeah. Okay, do you want to put those bags down for a second? Said you've been in the bathroom for a long time. That's what happened. They were worried. Hey, your hands in her oh, oh, She's getting I'm right sorry, my ID. Yeah, go ahead. Grab, grab your ID. Okay. Yep. Wow. Okay. Find the place. My ride's all tied. Yeah, that's what they said. I'm getting ready. I had thermals. I had okay, stop. Listen. Look. Hey, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get your ID out of that little bag right okay, there. Come on. Do you have any weapons on you? I have my tooth pickers. Okay, do me a favor. I promise. I promise. I'm gonna give this to him. Okay. Put your hands on this wall for me. I'm gonna pat you down. Um. Okay. Rochelle pleads with the officers and asks them if she can take off her coat. She also tells them that she has severe PTSD and anxiety. However, instead of cooperating with the officers, she shows restraint and refuses to put her hands on the wall. The officer tries to put her in cuffs, but then she does something so wild. Can I have a witness? No. Please, please. Stop. I'm peeing. Yeah. I'm peeing. I'm peeing. I swear to God. Uh, sir, I'm peeing. Okay, let go. Help me, please. I'm pissing. Persisting. Oh, my God. Okay. Please. Stop fighting Please. us. Turn around. Please. No. Turn around. Get the hell out of here. Stop. I promise you the hell out of here. Well, you resisting is not helping. Oh, my God. Stand up. Please, no. Stand up. Officers have the suspect in cuffs. They escort her and her wet pants out of the store, but she keeps on yelling at the officers. She tells them that she was in a very bad car accident and that they're hurting her shoulder. Okay, well, you resisting us didn't help that. We'll be back in to get her stuff. Please! Stop. Please! Ma'am! Enough. Ma'am! Step outside. My now. shoulder! You, I get it. Baby! Outside. Baby, tell them my shoulder! Baby! My shoulder! Oh, ma'am, sir, that's my bad shoulder, I swear to God, sir. Sir, please, please, I peed myself too. My shoulder, sir, my shoulder. Yeah. Ow, my shoulder, sir. Stop. My shoulder, I'm going to pee. Hopefully, no one would try to eat the yellow snow. Rochelle rolls around on the ground like a baby throwing a tantrum, and the officers continue to try to search her pockets. She tells the officers that they dislocated her shoulder and that she has snow in her eyes. But after the officers found a weapon on her, that's going to be the least of her problems. You're choking me, sir. You're choking me. Nobody's choking oh. you. You're choking me. When I asked you if you had weapons, what did you tell me? Oh, my weapon. You know, your knife? You forgot? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's a box cutter. I yep. do apologize, yeah. ma'am. Yeah, well, I wasn't reaching for it. Oh, oh my God. Here, ma'am. Right, oh, what am I on my wrist, ma'am? Oh, my God. Please don't touch right, me, ma'am. Careful, you two. Know, you're the one who hurt me. You gotta be careful on this, all right? Um, I'm gonna give you one. instructions on how to get up, okay? Hold on. Listen to me, okay? Uh, I'm gonna have you put this leg in. Oh, my God. Okay. okay, we're gonna get you on your knees, all right? Ready? Okay, sir. Go ahead. Lean up against us. Okay, rotate. Ah, 
killed her! Like oh the- my god! And we're also really glad they do. While Rochelle complains about how the officers kicked her and pushed her face into the snow, one of the officers makes his way to her boyfriend. He tells the officer that they stopped at the Walmart to buy some groceries because they have a long ride ahead of them. The boyfriend entered the store to buy some groceries while Rochelle waited in the truck. But when he came back, she and the keys to the vehicle were gone. While the officer spoke to him, an ambulance arrived on the scene and Rochelle was placed in the back. You're welcome. <laughs> I told them I couldn't get handcuffed in the van and they didn't want to listen. Well, this is why they got two handcuffs, okay? You do have two handcuffs for that reason. Go ahead and squat through the back here. What? Through the back here. You gotta go through the back. Uh, right, before you guys, I got, you know, she. Just rush out. Hey, I'm talk to me. I'm just, like, she's like. Him, get his name. Okay. He kicked me. I just settle down, he honey. Settle down. Me. Just, it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be on the report, man. It's okay. <laughs> Right, go ahead and have it. He kicked me like a, I was a piece of shit. Can I have you? Uh... And slapped my face into the tire. The officer takes off Rochelle's cuffs, and her partner is finally given the keys to his truck. Now, one might think Rochelle's going to comply with the officers a bit, but no. She yells and screams in the back of the ambulance and tries to reach for her lighter in her pocket. Luckily, her partner is quite honest, and it turns out Rochelle loves making a scene when cops are involved. Now, what are we doing? Ah! Hey, we need we need yeah. to find that for you. Right, thank you. She was trying to hide this. Oh. Where was this at? Right pocket. Okay. Was she searched already? She was not searched. Not oh. completely. Yes, I was searched. Come on, it doesn't look like it. We're just going to hang out here because we're not going to add to that. I completely understand. As soon as you walked around the corner, she got worse. Yeah, when I she know, walked around the corner, she got worse. So we're not going to go down that walk, road. That's when you said walk over here, I walked over here. Right. I think you, as you can tell, I'm trying not to cause conflict. Oh, no, yeah, no. <laughs> we got no issues with you. Is it okay uh, if Mark takes your wallet to stay somewhere? You can you take your property it? for now? No. No? Okay. Oh. Hey, she said no. Her boyfriend isn't too happy with that answer. He tells the officer that he's stuck at the Walmart and has no money to go anywhere. Rochelle, on the other hand, continues to scream in the back of the ambulance. The boyfriend reveals that Rochelle is addicted to opioids, and that could be the reason that she's acting so crazy. After a lot of talking, Rochelle is taken to the hospital where she receives treatment. Can we take that, yeah. take that arm? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! Alright, that's all. Alright, we're gonna go over there first. Hold on, we're gonna switch over first. Why don't you give me your hand? <laughs> Anything else you want me to take? Okay, so you must, yeah, carry that stuff for me. All right. Did they go on my pants? Yep, I put it, everything's in your bags. Everything and I, else here. I have your bags. Oh my God, I'm not I'll turn the heat up for you. All right, you can put your arms on. Do you want me to ki- take this with me? Rochelle is placed in the back seat of the cop car and taken to jail after she felt better and calmed down a bit. She was charged with multiple charges that included disorderly conduct, resisting an officer, and battery to law enforcement. She was also charged with possession of illegal drugs and bail jumping. On the 23rd of May, 2022, officers responded to a Walmart after they called in a theft. When they entered the store, they met with Walmart's loss prevention officer who told them that he witnessed a woman named Paula not scanning her items and then proceeding to walk past all points of sale before she was stopped for a receipt check. I know, I rang up the wrong vacuum, remember? Do you have the other one with you right now? They're both, they were both on clearance. Ma'am, do you have your license on you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I have it? I rang up the wrong freaking vacuum, an unintentional mistake. I just spent two hundred fifty dollars for twenty dollars. This is ridiculous. Because you're being trespassed. Okay, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Where do you work at? I don't work. I'm disabled. What were the items I weren't paid for? 
The officer makes his way to the security room again to check the footage, and the woman talks to the female officer. She tells her that she made an innocent mistake and that she can pay for the item, and by that, she only means one item. The suspect tells the officer that she doesn't work at Walmart and isn't sure how everything works, and that they should bring back the old registers. The suspect was still unaware that she's going to be in for quite a shock. All of that was in skin. Did she pass points of sale? That is that was not scanned. Maybe it's misscanned. Uh, and it got deleted off my receipt. I did not not she tells them that she did nothing wrong and needs to get to her kid, who is currently at home with her mother. According to Paula, she paid for all of her items with the Scan and Go app, but many of her items haven't been paid for. She walks away and tries to call someone, but the officers aren't going to mess around, so they place her in cuffs. Don't touch me, please. Please don't put your hands on me. I'm calling. Oh, all right. What are you Stop talking resisting. about? Stop resisting. Stop resisting. This is all on video. Stop I'm not resisting. resisting. Stop tensing. Okay, call a lawyer. I want Stop. a lawyer. Call me a lawyer. Please, somebody call me a lawyer. I can't believe this is happening. You guys, I can't believe this is happening. This is a accident. Are you kidding me right now? Stop turning towards what? us. You're not listening to me. I have a child at home. Who's with your child? He doesn't have a father. He's dead. I don't So who's <laughs> with your child now? My mother. Okay. Well, he's what I can't do this. Right, I can't. Listen. No. You have no, the right to remain silent. The officer reads her her Miranda rights, but she keeps on interrupting him. She tells him that he's hurting her and that she refuses to talk to the officers. Paula insisted that she just wants to go home, but the only place she's going is jail. The officers try to escort her out of the store. Can I please talk to you, please? Uh, please. Uh, no, it's my kid's last day at school. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, From the information the cops gathered and the video they saw, Paula was caught on camera skip scanning. If it wasn't for the employee who stopped to check her receipt, she would have walked away with multiple stolen items. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to explain to you and you're Just because you talk a lot doesn't make you right. That's what you're Why doing. are you being nasty? I'm being nasty. You are being you nasty. Already resisted us. You no, I have scream. not resisted Won't us. Walk. I just want help because this is wrong. I was not stealing. So I you just steal and I'm wrong. I didn't you know steal on purpose. I never even left the store. I never even made it out the door. Paula is placed in the back seat and the officer calls EMS. When they have the door open again, Paula yells at them and tells them she can't breathe because she's having a panic attack. The officer tries to calm her down, but she does not stop screaming. You know Paula, Paula, you know take a few deep breaths. <laughs> if there is a God, please, please help. Forty two, it's okay. Forty two, it's okay. Ten fifteen, white female. Signal stop. 25. Stop. I, I didn't do it on purpose. I can't do it, Gio. I swear to you. I swear to you. You were making it impossible to explain it to me. You You've just, already explained it to I've me. I've tried. I've tried to give you more detail, but you just keep screaming at us. I just want to go right? The officer shuts the door and makes his way back to the loss prevention officer. They got the sum of all the things she tried to take, and the total was $620. However, since she paid for some of it, they couldn't figure out how much of it was stolen unless they got the receipt, which was on her phone. The officers called a sergeant to the scene to help them out. I don't know what happened. You're okay. railroading me, I promise you. It was an accident. Well, it could be an accident or not, but... I'm so scared. Why are you, what are you scared of? I can't go to jail. Okay. I can't Go to jail. Well, I have muffins with mom. Really you don't. You don't have to go to jail tonight. Okay, but I need you. To, I need you to be honest. I'm being honest. The sergeant makes his way inside and talks to the employees. The employees go through each item individually and compare the price slips to the price of each item. And there are many irregularities. Well, it turns out Paula didn't actually pay for most of her items, and there are a lot of things that she tried to steal. Please explain to me, because I promise you. You didn't pay for any of the clothes. You didn't pay you. for any of the shoes. You changed the price on I, numerous I, items. I didn't change the price. I told you I scanned it. Yeah, uh, and I, I said that, and what I did was even to, to 
Listen. Just to, to see? After all that was done, the officer finally had a total amount for everything she stole. Now you remember we said that the total for the items she tried to take was $620. Well, she only paid $9 for it. The total amount of everything she stole is down to $611. However, Paula does not believe that and is none too happy that the officers caught her. I okay, have been listen. Here to witness it. There's no way. There is no way. That's not right. That wasn't my merchandise. We scan, we scan each item one by one that was in the cart, There's and that's no, what it total to. That, okay? that wasn't my cart, because I'm telling you. It was the cart that you were pushing. Well, There's no way. Paula, There's we're beyond that now. You no. are under arrest. That's no way! I promise I Paula was charged with petty theft and resisting an officer without violence. That was one long night for the officers, and the ride to the jail was probably quite the ride, especially with Paula crying in the back seat and still trying to plead her innocence. Now, let's get right into our next clip. On June 23rd, 2023, officers were called to a Florida bar after one of the customers acted disorderly. She threw a shot glass at another patron of the bar and afterwards acted like it was a joke. The manager of the bar said she had to leave and that she would not be served anymore. Hey, oh, take your buggy outside. Let's go. Why? They don't want you here. They've told you to leave. Oh, you got a dollar I can have? Huh? You got a dollar I can have? No, take your card outside. Let's go. This is the last time I'm going to tell you. Oh, how'd you get this in here? It's like the shit is Alright, can we go out the front way then? I'm not driving it. I just had to drive her back here. Be able to walk? You got two feet for a reason. I said, let's get up. They said they wanted her trespass and gone, right? Yeah, let me make, let me go. Yeah, because now nah, she's going to jail for trespass. And battery, she wants to press targets. <laughs> Stop right there. Stop, you're not going anywhere. Got your ID on you? No. She just jumped the <laughs> curb in that thing? Not your ID, yeah. She just, honey, I'll fix it. All right, just hang tight right here, okay? Because you're not free to leave. Is there like a cutter right there? I think it's right here. Yeah. Are you able to maneuver this scooter mobile through that parking lot and head to my cop car? To the front. No, I am able to get it to Walmart. So where'd you get this from? Walmart. Walmart, I'm trying to return it. The suspect admits to the officers that she stole the mobility scooter from Walmart, but claims that she tried to return it. Now, since the mobility scooter cost more than $750, she already has a felony charge coming at her. The officers tell her to drive around to the front of the bar to their vehicle. You go to the front. Where am I going? To the front. Go. Don't make me make a fool out of you. That Is that a threat? Yes, and a promise. Okay, well, go ahead. Try. I promise you, you're not going to get far. I promise you, I will. That way, to the patrol cars. Yay! You mean me to say my alphabet backwards on camera? No, you can stop right there, though. I don't want you to check me. I need a female officer. I'm not checking you. Why do you got gloves? Because you're going to be placed under arrest. Okay. Well, I'm not touching you without gloves. Why am I under arrest? Uh, for battery and trespassing. Okay. Well, stand up and put your hands behind your back. What's your badge number? R. Romero? Yep. What's your badge number? My policy does not require that what I give you my badge? badge number. Yes, I need your badge number. Okay, well, you can you need it all you want. Going? Yeah. You got enough. I need your badge number. Okay. Okay. R. Romero. Yep. You won't go far. Okay. The officers called in for a female officer to search the suspect. She arrived on the scene and patted down and performed a search on the suspect. The suspect, however, becomes quite hostile towards the officers and doesn't comply with them when they ask her to bend over. Guess only one person's making a fool out of herself today. Bend over, bend over at the waist. Don't stop. Bend over at the waist. Here we go. Oh, resisting. I'm resisting. I'm resisting, right? Do something. Hey, James, Do can you something. take care of this? Do something. Oh, how nice. Is that okay? Are y'all okay now? You got all my bracelets? Oh, I guess. You got all my rings? You got all my rings here. Let me help you. Stop. Y'all are <laughs> You really are. You're so dumb. I'm called worse. I better. Yeah, I don't Bravo, Neil, stop. Let me get them off. Just relax, God. 
bless America. Uh, God bless America. We're going there. We're going there. Speak for yourself. So I'll speak for you. Stop. I'll speak for you. Don't. If you start spitting, I promise you this is not going to end well. Oh, no, well. it's sealed. It's sealed. You understand? It's not ending well at all. You're burning. You don't get Where it. are you getting burned at? My knee and my stomach and my tooth. Oh. Well, if you will just stand up and act like an adult, we don't have to do this. Can you do that? Can I stand up? Can you do that? Can, can I stand up? Are you going to act right? I sure can. Oh, I'm too drunk to go to the Walmart though, right? And return the cart they told me to take. You want to waste your time. To the back seat. Aren't you such a delight? Hey, she just spit on me. I told you she spit on me too. I got spit on me too. I have one right here. The suspect is only making things worse for herself. The officer takes out a spit mask from his car and tries to put it on her. But if you think she's going to listen and put it on willingly, you're going to be in for a shock. The power of Christ compels you. Okay, okay, okay. Nasty ass. Get back in the car. Ew, ew. Not, not a bug. Where did it get on you? Like right here. Okay. It's I'll not any of your, it's your skin or mucus. No. no. Oh, Christ. The likelihood that pills so all of them. You're not going to get anything from it touching your skin, but if it gets in your eyes or your mouth, you need to see something because the likelihood that she has hepatitis yeah. C is high. Yeah, I was saying it right there and she directly spit on her, but the got on me. Okay. We also can't believe that she didn't put up a bigger fight. Told you you're going to be shocked, but honestly, if three cops dragged me out of the car, I also would have complied. The officers grab a sanitary wipe for the officer who was spat on and clean him up. The suspect was charged with trespassing, resisting, misdemeanor battery, and felony battery. On January 7, 2023, officers responded to a Walmart in reference to a shoplifting that had just occurred. When they arrived on the scene, they met a Walmart loss prevention employee who told them that two females, identified as Ayana Hernandez and Alexi Walker, were called shoplifting at the self-checkout line just before the officers got to the scene. Um, so they just need to scan all their items. Oh, yeah. um, they didn't have their identification. She just told me that she does have one out in her Is car now. At first, we didn't have ID. Um, it's only $21, but we, we thought that they were some people that had done it the, the previous day, but she was saying that, but she's saying that it's not her. Um, it wasn't them? Okay. Have you guys ever shoplifted before? We know why. It probably didn't go through the scan their thing. She came up here and she had to put her ID. It, must, it was a missed game. Four. But she, like I said, I'll pay for the item. I don't have no problem with yeah. it. Okay. And them the items that we paid for. Yeah. It just, they kept coming over there scanning their things. It's a um, Kool-Aid jam that we paid for. What exactly did they, did they take? He hasn't given me that. Uh, he went to the restaurant. Okay. But I don't have the receipt. It was $21. It's... So... They scanned... You have that receipt? Uh, yes, I have it. I have it. So they scan the vegetable oil. They scan the cheese. They didn't scan this juice right here. The officer calls in the suspect's names and surnames so they can check it out when he gets to the car. He and the employee also go through the security footage and they catch the female in the act of not scanning her items and just putting them into the bag. Okay. You, do you remember, you see yourself doing that? Well, I went to the book. Okay. But you, you guys didn't scan it? I didn't know that. Okay. So. I don't want, I mean, it's only $21, so I don't, I don't have to But work. like I said, I yeah. can pay for it. Be further into the other, the other instance, because they said that it wasn't them. Um, but I do want to get a bar. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want to prosecute for $21, so. Okay. But I just wanted to make sure I got the correct identification. Okay. okay. Did you buy yeah. Oh, no, I'll go get that. Let me tell her, right? I got it. Okay. Have you guys ever been barred from Walmart? No. The suspects may not have already been banned from Walmart, but today, that's going to change. The officer tells the female suspects that they aren't allowed back onto this property, not just Walmart, and that they'll be arrested if they return. The officer then returns to his car to see if the suspects have a history of shoplifting, and it turns out these two shoplifters have done it before. When he returned to the store, the employee found the footage from the 4th of January. Did he say that we didn't scan anything on here? 
On this one? Yeah. Well, if this is a you, then is this you? Because I'm saying, like, I knew that I scanned my stuff. But it, so this is you? That looks like you. I knew that I scanned my stuff. So he never said nothing. So, so yeah, because y'all just free back into the. Yeah, no, you did not scan anything. She has a deodorant right here in her hand that she's just put in the bag right here. So we um, thought that we scanned these boots rang up as a t-shirt. It's your purple phone case. So we thought we scanned it because yeah. we had other boots that we had got and we brought them um, You have this deodorant in your hand. I have it. I have it. I was about to work on it and then they said, oh, well, the people are in here. So you have that deodorant in your hand and you get her. Scanned. Um, the two suspects did the same act just a few days prior, and now the loss prevention employee is ready to prosecute. When the suspects heard that, she quickly gave away the names of two of her other accomplices. These were the ones who helped them skip scan on the first heist. And that's the lie. I just looked at the picture, or whatever that video. Both people that I'm watching on that video are both you guys. So stop lying. But I didn't, I'm not, I'm telling you that I didn't see it. Okay, that's you, right? Okay. That's you as well. So stop. Okay? Are we clear? Yes, but I'm telling you that I didn't. Not you. I'm talking about you. Okay. Stop lying. One more time. Was that you that we just watched on video? Yes. Was that you we just watched on video? Yes, but I'm telling you You want to proceed with prosecution now? Yes. Correct. Okay. But I didn't speak, I'm feeling Well, I don't know about that. She has all the uh, documents as far as she was concerned. So. The officers browse the video footage again with the employees just to make sure. Ayana also pleads her innocence and tells the officer that she was unaware of the stealing and that she was only handing the groceries to the one at the register. But in the video, you can clearly see her watching the female skip scan and put the item in the bag. Sorry, I'm being honest with you. Like, I, don't, I don't know disrespect. I don't know you, but I'm being so honest with you. Yeah, I don't know you either, and I can, and I can tell... That I can see what you're doing. Because, ma'am, I do not want to get prosecuted. Well, I re- that's I not up to you. Because that's not I'm being so honest. I thought I scanned all the stuff. And just like today, I would pay full money for the other stuff. Okay, but did you pay for the other things? Because I thought it was paid for. Okay. Well, that's it looks like you guys are going to get prosecuted. So, don't steal. Ma'am. I'm just being honest. I don't want to get prosecuted, but I'm telling you, if you can, you can bar me. But you can go ahead, hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up that phone now. All right. Who wants to go first? Stand up. No, can you can you please talk to me? You, can you? No, you sit down. Please. You stand up. Miss Beth, please. Go ahead and stand up. Please. I'm being stand so up. honest with you. I did not know that this stuff was not scanned. I did not want to get prosecuted. You can bar me, but I'm being so honest. So there. I told you all the same. You lied to me several times. The time has come for the officers to place the suspects in cuffs. Ayana doesn't want to get up and pleads with the employee, but there's no getting out of it. The officer tells her that if she cooperates, they can help her, and they'll call her dad when they get down to the station. No, don't do this. Don't fight with him. Look, sweetheart, don't, don't do all that. Yes, but I just got to do better. Why do you not know that she didn't do that? Can you please listen? Please. You can explain it to the judge and then... This is very serious. And I'm being for her. I didn't know. Don't resist. Don't resist. You just saw the same thing we did. Just and I'm telling you. Stop resisting. Don't stop resisting. Do what he's asking. When you get to where he got to take you to the jail, then you call your parents to come and get you. You have your time to tell the judge, but don't make it worse than what it's already is. Because I'm because every little bit that y'all do, you 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 standing right there looking at her. I thought she scanned it, ma'am. Come on. Come on. Like, I don't do this. Look, you old enough to be my child. The females are escorted to the back of the cop car, and they go through all the normal procedures and are patted down by the officers. The officer returns to the store and is informed by the employees that they'd like to conduct an investigation into the other shoplifters who were with them. Also, Walmart is only prosecuting for the charges that you guys, they're prosecuting for the things you guys stole today. Um, they're going to be signing warrants and getting, and getting in contact with a detective for the things you guys stole on the 4th. You clear? Okay. And 
they're going to try to figure out who Mia is. The officers drive the suspects to the jail and get them ready for booking. They separated the two suspects and female officers conducted a thorough search on them. They were then placed in their cells. My prediction is probably by midnight I should be out of here. Okay. So, mm, should be no more than four hours. Okay. The suspects were both charged with misdemeanor theft by shoplifting and had to spend a few hours in jail. And that just goes to show, crime doesn't pay. Well, that's the end of our video. And we've been through quite a lot with this one. From a few crazy Walmart shoplifters to the Fast and the Furious Walmart edition. Which of these stories was your favorite? If you have any Walmart-related arrest stories you'd like to share with us, leave a comment because we love reading them. Also, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.